So I'm the Learning and Development Manager at Headland Archaeology and I have five minutes to go through this so I'm going to rattle through and give you quite a lot of information in quite a short time. So I'm going to outline how we have made the vocational training work at Headland Archaeology which is a commercial archaeological unit and we looked more closely at how learning and development professionals operate within organisations to create a holistic strategy that would work for individuals and the company as a whole. So when I speak about learning and development, what I mean is the broader acquisition of skills, knowledge and experience which will lead to career development. And when I speak about training, I mean very specific and measurable provision of skills. So interestingly enough, I have a triangle as well. <laughs> and I hadn't seen Collins, so um, I, did, I did like that we both had that same idea. So quite early on, we identified five key components that we were going to focus on. These were induction, our modular training programme, online training, bespoke training, and the whole thing would be surrounded by mentoring and coaching and changing the culture of the organisation. So the reason that it's a triangle is to reflect the workforce. At the bottom we have the many and at the top we have the few. And I think what happens quite often when we think about training in companies is that we jump to the, the top of the triangle straight away and we think about the really rare, valuable skills that are missing but we miss this part at the bottom, the base, which is the bulk of your workforce. So the base of the triangle, many, top is the few. Inductions were something that all staff need. So we, we tried to strike, strike that off quite quickly at the start. Can't go into too much detail about it. I'm going to skip past that today and go on to this. So why is it holistic? I said the word holistic earlier, and how does that fit into our business structure? What we did was we identified three main areas we wanted to concentrate on. This was the <coughs> explore, learn, and communicate. Explore is about understanding the job you're doing, understanding your potential, and working with line managers to progress your journey through appraisals. This was really important for us because what we want to do is train people to be able to do the job that we're hiring them for. Then we have learn, which is improving your skills and knowledge. And that is the modular training programme that we've designed, which I will briefly show you today. And communicate is about taking what you have learned and using it to improve others, passing that information on. So I'm going to focus more today on that learn and communicate side of things and how we worked vocational training into the company. And this is an example of the module because we have a modular training programme. So this takes aspects of the work and groups it together, then takes learning outcomes and puts them into bite-sized modules. And at the moment we have over 150 of these modules, so it's quite a lot. And they are small, they can be stacked together, and uh, they will help people do the jobs that they're there to do. Build confidence and support in everybody's basic skills. Uh, You'll see here we've got um, activities, learning outcomes, assessment. This will be quite familiar if you know about lesson plans. It's very, 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 very similar to what happens in, in the education sort of um, industry. I'm trying to go too fast because I'm aware I've got five minutes. Um, so we spent an awful lot of time looking at the training materials. I think what was really important for me was that I didn't want a programme that was all framework and no content. So we spent a really, really long time producing all the training materials that go alongside these modules. And they can form presentations, group seminars, discussion ses sessions, lab and field demonstrations, observations, multiple choice questionnaires, that's just to name a few. We added into this a very successful training material, which is our online learning. We purchased an e-learning platform. Uh, and the plan with this was that we would use it for people to be able to catch up or brush up on the skills that they needed. And it's cheaper for a company to do it this way because you don't have to pay for the trainer. People can go away and do this in their own time. They can improve themselves. So, oh, fire on because I've got one minute left. Um, bespoke training was very briefly seen at the top of the triangle and it is something that we're working on too. The modules that we're designing can also be used within the bespoke training, but with these they're much more um, carefully nuanced and sometimes fitting around individuals or individual skills. And the mentoring part, which is really the key that has unlocked the whole programme. When you have a project which might have over 200 people involved in it, 
how can you possibly start to train all of them in the skills that they'll need? And the answer that we um, used to facilitate that was train the trainer, which some people might be quite familiar with. And we tried to certify people throughout the company so that they would have the, the confidence and the tools to train other people, not just with the training materials, but the, the skills to actually pass that information on and, and it would be heard and properly, um, properly learned by people. So we have skills and knowledge identified, module expertise, the manager would recommend. They do one of our leadership modules, one of our train the trainer modules, and then they're approved and then they can train in these modules throughout the company. So that was really quick, sorry. <laughs> um, the future, what we're going to do going forward, we've got the framework now, we've got the content, we're going to turn and look a bit more now to apprenticeships and that side of things, that more bespoke training side of it. So that's my time up. <laughs> and if you want to speak to me more about this later, please do. And um, we've got a lot that's happening and it was very difficult to try and fit it all into five minutes right now. <laughs>